Hello there, this is the Bookkeeping Master on YouTube. Thank you for taking the time to view this video and the previous videos in this course. In this video, I'm going to show you how to divide and multiply cells. In a previous video, I showed you how to add and subtract. We're going to look at how to divide and multiply and also how to format some cells. So here is our Excel, our Microsoft Excel. We can enter some figures, let's do 100 and let's add a 4. Say we wanted to uh, divide that 100 by 4 or whatever was in those cells. All we need to do is choose the cell we wish the formula and calculation to appear in. Click equals, click the uh, primary number then use the bracket that's on the number pad it's normally above the plus sign um, and in between the del and the asterisk or the star sign and then click the number you wish to divide by click enter so we have 25 if these numbers are changed the formula will update automatically let's make that bold so it stands out a bit more you could put a thousand in there 250 now we can also multiply cells. Once again, choose the cell you wish the formula and sum to appear in. Equals. Choose the cell. Use the asterisk or the star sign. It's normally the top right hand key on your keypad. Choose a cell you wish to multiply by. Enter. 4000. Just like the other formulas we've created, it will be updated automatically as we change the figures that are in the formula. So very straightforward. Now we've been through a lot in the last um, three videos and then previously four videos to that. Um, we had four and then creating the invoice and then we've had three videos from then. I'm gonna show you how to format some cells and then I want to give you some more spreadsheets and templates to create because that's how you're going to really learn Excel and know the benefits of using Excel is when you start applying what you've learned and creating some things. Um, so let's format some cells and I'll give you some assignments. You'll notice that all the figures we've been putting in are just appearing as we are typing them. But it may be that we want our figures to represent a monetary value. It could be that we want them to represent a percentage, a date, or a number of different things. So if we go back to our divide formula that we created over here, 1000 divide by 500, say we wanted this to appear as a percentage rather than the number 2. All we need to do is right click on that cell, go to format cells. It may take a little while to load depending on what edition of Excel you're using. We then have this number tab and category. You'll see the category is currently general and that's the default for Excel and it gives you a sample of what the general looks like. Say we want to have a percentage. Simply go through the categories until you find percentage. You'll also notice there are things like time, date, accounting, currency, text, fraction, scientific and others. Click on percentage you can choose the decimal places, click OK, and you'll see this cell now appears as a percentage rather than a general number. Now if we do the formula again for this cell, we want to do the 500 this time, divide by the 1000, that will give us the percentage of the 500 against the 1000, which is 50%. Could be that we want to display this figure uh, 
a monetary figure or some sort of currency once again format cells let's go to currency you can choose your currency symbol I'm going to use pounds you can go to two decimal places or less click OK and you'll see that now appears as 500,000 pounds like I've said in all my videos just experiment with this click format cells and see what is on offer and when you're ready to move on use the button to the right here to go through the assignments I have of documents and spreadsheets I recommend you create to apply and develop your Excel skills further thank you for watching